New England's 2010 valedictorian, Dustin James Potter. Professor of Fine Art was very fond of reminding his students about the value of hard work. Every class he would shout, Art is work. This is your job. It was a constant reminder to us that what we were doing wasn't in the name of petty enjoyment. That was a pleasure reserved for hobbyists. We were becoming artists, people with a passion for ideas and the techniques used to express them. Merely finding pleasure in the creative act wasn't enough. It would take long hours of continuous practice, endless repetition, and moments of utter failure before we could say, with some confidence that we knew what we were doing. It's the difference between someone who takes pictures and a photographer, between someone who writes and a writer. Needless to say, talent had little to do with it. In her book, The Creative Habit, dancer and choreographer Twyla Tharp wrote extensively about the act of artistic creation, including this segment elaborating on her ideas that the early moments of a creative act are like an empty room. To some people, this empty room symbolizes something profound, mysterious, and terrifying. The task of starting with nothing and working your way toward creating something whole and beautiful and satisfying. Some people find this moment, the moment before creativity begins, so painful they simply cannot deal with it. The blank space can be humbling, but I've faced it my whole professional life. It's my job. It's also my calling. Bottom line, filling this empty space constitutes my identity. What artist could disagree with that? Who among us has not felt that sting, that urge to produce something after an artistic dry season? When we aren't engaged in some creative endeavor, a fundamental part of us seems lacking. Picking up the brush, the camera, the pen, it gets the gears moving again, starts our minds racing with new ideas. And despite the fear and anxiety that that empty room may bring, we're happy to be standing in it again. The same need to create requires us to constantly refine and improve our skills. Having a concept without the ability to convey it is just as meaningless as a flawless work with no concept behind it. So just so you know, we're not finished yet. College is merely a crash course. Take those skills you've acquired thus far, continue to develop and expand them, and in turn utilize them. Forge them into a weapon, a bandage, a mirror, a confession, whatever is necessary to convey your idea. Remember, this is your job, creating something that can influence people, that can encourage change on some level. And damn it, you'd better be good at it. The world has no place for ambitious college students. It's artists that are needed. Thank you. <laughs> 